In this question, we can separate the number x into two factors. What we've done here is group the powers of 2 and 5 together on the right side as powers of 10. This second portion will be easy to add in afterwards because it will contribute only digits of 0. Since 3 squared times 4 squared is the same as the quantity 3 times 4 squared, the left side is the fraction 1 over 144. We can now compute this by long division. We have hit, finally, once we get to this point, a situation in which the decimal will repeat. From here on out, we'll have fours. Therefore, the distinct non-zero digits in this decimal are six, nine, and four, for a grand total of three. The correct answer is C.